And I create a header outline for every piece of content I create. It helps me remember what I want to include as well as what I want to highlight of any particular article. I'm Mike with Rider Sanctuary and today I want to be taking a look at how to create a header outline in WordPress. Now there's nothing wrong with winging it when it comes to writing a blog post. However, creating a header outline will give you a chance to remember the things that you want to write about and some of the points that you want to bring up in within the article. Essentially it helps you fine tune the flow. And you'll probably wind up removing some and adding some as you create the content. I just find it a hell of a lot easier to write an entire blog post when I have the entire outline ready to go. So let's get right into it. Now the first thing in WordPress is going to be the title. That's this guy right here. Now WordPress is going to use it as the H1 header. You will never use H1 in your body of your content ever. Well, at least about, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time you won't. Uh, some people do have things set up to where it hides the header from WordPress, but you can put in your own custom one. I don't know why they would do that. I never have, but when you add more than one H1, it confuses Google and the reader. Not to mention it might cause issues with the whole layout of the website itself. So it's best just to keep the title as H1. That's all it's going to be. Now one thing you want to keep in mind about your title is that you want to make it clickable, which means you need it to engage someone who's searching for a specific topic in order for them to click the article. So if you have your keyword that you want to use, you need to add a little bit more to it. So let's say that I want to create an, a review about the Oculus Quest 2. Now since Google will take the header, the H1, and use it in search results, that title there doesn't tell anybody what the article is about. Sure, it's about the Oculus Quest 2, but is it a list of games? Is it a tutorial? Is it a review? Nobody knows. Chances of it getting clicked are slim to none. So in order to make the title more uh, flamboyant, I guess, uh, you can either use Exact Metrics plugin, which has a free headlight analyzer that'll implant it into WordPress, or you can use the CoSchedule's headline analyzer tool, which is an awesome headline analyzer uh, I've been using CoSchedule for like the longest time you get a free account um, it'll scan through and make sure that you're creating titles that people want to click on then the next stage I usually write the intro now the intro is kind of important because you have about 15 seconds to engage a reader otherwise they hit the back button so you want to break down why they're there and what you can do to help and now you don't have to write your intro first. I do just so that it sets the tempo of what I'm trying to write about. So that'll be completely up to user preference. But today we're focusing more on the headline outline. So fast forward a little bit. I created the outline of what this review is about. And as you can see that um, I added a few different elements. All of these are H2s, these big ones here. And those reflect the title. And that's the important thing to remember. Uh, the headers will follow a hierarchy. So your H2s have to reflect the title of the H1, which is this guy here. And your H3s have to reflect the H2 they go under. So like when I wrote, what can you expect from the Oculus Quest 2? I started writing in some of the pros and cons of using it. Like for instance, it fogs up my glasses, but it has great sound quality. The AirLink, I can control my desktop PC, or my PC desktop, which is really cool. But I normally add at least seven points. You can add whatever you want, but this is an example. The point is, is that your H3 headings here have to reflect the H2 they go under. So like this here, if I move this guy down to there, that has uh, very little to do with integrating well for streaming, unless you want to control your PC to uh open up certain apps that might help you stream i mean there's some ways you can work around it but i would not i would change that to something completely different it works better if i stuck it under oops if i stuck it under the what Ugh. what you can expect because that's one of the features that it has built into it so if i wanted to add more uh you can this is going to be completely up to user preference um does it work well with Steam games? Um, I would add a, a couple of paragraphs as to um, its capabilities uh, with Steam. Um, but essentially, we're trying to answer questions. This is a review. So I'm trying to answer questions that people might be asking when they're deciding on if they're going to buy it or not. You can structure your articles however you want. The whole point of this here is just to show that the H2s 
and how you work your H3s underneath them. And as you can see, I do flesh out all the headers, so they're not kind of, they're not boring at all. I mean, they're not like just H or Oculus Quest 2 integration. I mean, you want to go into a little bit further. You want people to click on it. You want people to read through it. You don't want to be bland in your headings, especially your title. Okay, so what if we save this draft? I want to show you what it looks like when there's a, uh, um, a table of contents installed. I'm going to preview it and open in a new tab. And then when I scroll down, I can see that here's my table of contents. Uh, this plugin, I think I've got a video on it, but it's a table of contents. And you can see that these are H2s and here's the H3s. See how they're nested underneath it? That's what you want it to look like. That way people know that all this information here is underneath the, the second header. And then when they click on any one of these, they can go straight to the point. But that is a, a uh, video for another time. Now, one of the cool things I was, I kind of showed you a little bit of the cool things with the headers in WordPress is that you can grab and select on it and then move it anywhere you want it. You can go all the way down, move this to the bottom, move it up to the top. Or you can take it and drag and drop it wherever you want it to go. Uh, boom, but we don't want that. Bam. And if you need to add any more to it in the middle, like say, well, I want to be able to write text there. So you can either do the enter key and just start typing. Hello. Or you can click on the, just underneath the header and click on the add block here and add a paragraph. Yo. And if you don't want them, just click on it. Click these three options here and, um, Oh, it's at the very bottom. I hate what happens. So you click there and it's down here. Remove paragraph. Bam, it's gone. That's gone. And you can do the same thing with the headings. Say that we don't want this heading here. We can click on the options here and remove that heading. Then we can hit enter and re-enter something else. So we can type in this is fun to use. You hit the paragraph here and change the paragraph to a heading and We'll keep it as an H2 because it doesn't really necessarily have any impact on what you can expect from the device. And if you need to change any of the headings, you just click on it and then you use this guy here and you can change it to any size. I rarely ever use five or six. I don't often use four at all either. Uh, mostly I can fit everything in H2 and H3, but you have those options available if you'd like. You just click on it, go back. And you can also add another heading by either going and clicking on the add block here and we're going to add a heading and we can change that to any heading we need let's say so we can put in something another feature underneath that or you can also click on it and add block up here on the top left and we're going to add another heading and here we can uh, change it to whatever we'd like so we're going to change it to an h3 and enter in something else and that's how you'd add some more headings and you can essentially turn anything into a heading. You can change any block in WordPress. So like if I want to turn this entire sentence into a heading, I could just go to paragraph here and change it to headings. I could change it into columns, a list, group, like all kinds of different things. So if I wanted to do a heading, boom. But you know, that would look horrible. So we're not going to use that as a heading. We're going to change it back to a paragraph. And once I got all my headers done, I would start writing. Now I hope I didn't confuse you. Um, it's uh really not that confusing once you get the hang of it um like the header setting up the headers is pretty simple in wordpress uh, you just gotta know what headers you want to include in your article and the most important thing to remember though is that uh, they, it does run off a hierarchy so if you wanted to make a list of say 17 of the uh, best games for the oculus then you put um, maybe a header that says uh, games that you can get on the oculus and then each one of those underneath it would be an H3 underneath that H2. So there's all kinds of different ways you can do it. But just remember that um, Google, WordPress, and your reader are all going to be following that hierarchy. Just make sure your headings are bland. So if you find the video informative, hit the like button for more videos about WordPress, freelance writing, tech, broker, self-publishing, or anything else I cover. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today, and I'll see you next time.